welcome back to my channel guys in this video i will share with you how i made this cow neck top or blouse with a collar okay i used two years for this and i used a duchess fabric for this you need a lightweight material for this style so that the cow neck effects will come out so if it's something you want to learn how to do please keep watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and let's get right into the video okay so for this video i'm using my basic bodice pattern so i have my chest line waistline and my full length the full length is 25 inches and i added one inch to make it 26 one inches for the same allowance and for the neck width and the neck depth i did three inches by um one inch okay for the back okay this is basically for the back we'll be using this to cut the front as well after we manipulate it and i added all my allowances as you can see on my neckline on my shoulder on my armhole and by the size okay for the size i added half inch is allowance because you don't want this to be tight okay it's not really a, t a tight outfit so i did my um bust circumference divided by four okay plus half inch is allowance then plus 1.5 inch seam allowance okay so now i i came for this curve i came up by one inch and i want to just cut it out so that to remove that pointy edge there okay so i'll be using this to cut my back first all right okay so here is the my material the duchess fabric that i'm using and like i said it's two years and now i've placed it i folded my fabric into two and i placed the pattern on it and i'll cut it like so i'm not adding any allowance because i already did on the patterns i already added every necessary allowance on the pattern so after cutting it out i'm just going to unpin it to show you what it looks like this is for the back okay so here is what the back looks like now i'm going to manipulate or alter this um pattern i'm going to slash through the chest line to create um the curl effect right so on my chest line i'm going to slash it to the armhole area i won't um cut out everything just slash it open like this and i'll place this on another folded fabric to cut my front so now i folded my fabric into two and then i'm going to spread this okay wide it depends on what you want and how deep you want to spread it so just know that the farther or higher you spread it the deeper the cow neck effect okay but i want mine to be just moderate so i'm just going to spread it by let me say eight inches or thereabouts so i measured there and i have about 7.75 roughly eight inches which is fine it won't be too deep your cleavage won't really show but if you want it um really uh you don't want any cleavage at all you can do five six spread by five or six inches i'm just going to hold this down with my pin because i want to now cut it after um, slashing okay so i'm going to cut this out so watch how i'm going to cut this so we just cut the armhole area like this Cut the shoulder when i get to the tip of the shoulder as in the neck width area i'm going to stop okay now what i want to do is i want to rule a straight line from that neck width to the folded end like that so i'm just going to raise this up the neck um line it's not going to affect the front part it's not going to affect anything so raise it up and then draw a straight line there from the neck width okay and then I'm going to cut that off. So this is what I have. I will just unpin this, unpin my patterns. And this is my shoulder here, right? You can go ahead and notch it, okay? So that you know that that is your shoulder. The tip of your shoulder and then once i open this i'm going to show you what it looks like here is what i'm going to have okay so once this is my shoulder and then the curl 
effect is already you know forming or it's already formed okay so um the next thing i'm going to do is to cut the facing for this front area okay so i'm going to have this bit of fabric i fold it into two and i'm going to place the front on it like this make sure that the folded ends are together or are matching now i'm going to trace this out up until my armhole that is where i want it to get to trace the shoulder trace the armhole to that point okay i'm going to cut this off so i'll be using i'll be facing the front the back doesn't need a facing of course because it will have a collar right so i'll cut this off now i would have this facing that i'll use and turn the front neckline like this and also hold the sides okay so the next thing is the sleeves now the length of my sleeve in total is 25 inches okay including the allowance but because the sleeve will have a cuff and i want the cuff to be about five inches long i measured 20 inches that is i removed five inches from 25 to make it 20 okay so i marked 20 inches and i want to just create my sleeve i'm doing the freehand method of creating my sleeve okay I believe you should know how to draft your sleeve a basic sleeve i'm just doing a freehand um, method all right so i'm just going to draft my sleeve like so and on the hem i'm going to mark 10 inches because i want the i want to gather a little bit of gathered around the curve okay so it depends on how wide you want your sleeve or how big you want your sleeve it looks like a bishop sleeve but moderate bishop sleeve so it depends on how wide you want it okay so i'm just going to connect that line and i'll cut it off i will use this to cut another sleeve to make it two sleeves all right so i'll place this one on top of another folded fabric to cut another sleeve now for the curve the wrist circumference is eight and i added two inches to make it ten and the length is five so by the time i join it to the sleeve i would have 4.5 inches left okay now i'm going to iron my interface on it all right so by the time i i fold it like this and gather on it this is what i'm trying to achieve right so let's get started with the sewing so for the front piece i'm going to get my facing and then i'm going to sew the top front line the neckline with a quarter of an inch okay and then i'll flip it to the right side like this when i flip it to the right side i'm going to hold the shoulder and the armhole with a quarter of an inch as well okay now i have done that and then um this is what i have i'm going to place the back piece on it front facing front and i'm going to join the shoulders right so i'll join the shoulders by half of an inch i'll also join the size you know i added 1.5 inch seam allowance so i'll join the size by 1.5 inch seam allowance now i've done that and here is what i have the next thing is to create the color now i folded my back into two like this to get the midpoint of my back and i notched it i made sure that the shoulders match okay so you're going to place it like this so i want the collar to extend three inches into the front neckline okay so make sure that your shoulders match like this and then from there you're going to measure three inches from the shoulder line you measure three inches okay so i just brought my camera closer so you see it better so on my shoulder line i measured three inches on this side and on the other side as well just mark the three inches on both sides okay so the color is going to extend three inches into my front neckline 
now what i want to do is to measure the roundness of my neckline so i'll start from that point that i max on my front neckline all the way round to my back and then to the other side of the chalk of the front neckline that i max the chalk so what i have in total is 13.5 that means the length of my collar is going to be 13.5 now i have this um paper that i'm going to be using to cut my um um collar so the length of my collar is going to be three inches that so i added one inch to it to make it for the one inch is same allowance for the top part and the bottom part i'm just going to rule a straight line that is the width of the collar okay now the length for the length we measure 13.5 remember so i'm going to mark half of 13.5 there okay i'm marking it and then i'm going to connect it with a straight line like this so the next thing i'm going to do is on this down part i'm going to come up by half of an inch and then i'm just going to um, connect it to around the center there with a slight curve like this then on this other end here i'm co I'll come in by one inch and i'll connect it with the slant to that upper side like this now i'm going to add half of an inch to the side this side to for joining right i'll add half of an inch to join let's connect it like this as well so i'll just cut this off that's all for the color i'm going to use um this pattern and cut out two pieces okay of color so i'll place it on a folded fabric like this remember this um area should be on fold i'll fold a piece of fabric like this and place it on it so that part should be on fold i'll just hold this down with a pin and i'm going to cut it out actually going to cut two of these because they're supposed to be two piece so i've cut two of them and i'm going to notch this down part you know that part that we created a curve that is the part that will sit on the collar so you're going to notch it okay so you don't get confused notch it and i'll open this collar i'll hang iron and interfacing on the wrong side i've done that and then i'm going to place them together front facing front and i will join the top part with half of an inch and the side with half of an inch but when i'm joining the sides right i won't join the down part because that's the part that will fit on the collar so when i'm joining the sides i won't join to the end i'll leave about half inch upwards okay on both sides it's going to be it's going to make it easy for you to attach the collar right so i've done that as you can see i didn't join the size to the end i left about half inch on both sides i'm just going to trim off the pointy edges and uh just trim out the collar and then flip it to the right sides okay and then i'm going to iron poke out every edges the pointy edges and i'll iron this flat i'll iron this and now it's time to fix the collar to the shirt now on the back piece where we notched i'm going to get this is the wrong side of my fabric so i'm going to get my collar open it up and i'll match the notch on the collar to the notch on the center on our back neckline okay the center of our back neckline so match the collars and pin it down so i'm just going to sew round from there to that place that i marked the chalk okay that's where it will end as you can see also do the same thing for the other side to that other place that i marked the chalk so i'll join with half of an inch i've done that and the next thing i'm going to do is to now fold the other half of an inch to the right side fold it in and i use it to cover that seam there and i would sew fold and sew to till the end okay 
to the other side of the collar i have done that already and here is what the back looks like here is the front the front and the back i think it looks neat and nice now the next thing i'm going to do is to attach um the cuffs to the sleeves okay so the cow is curling right <laughs> so here is my cup i will attach my interfacing on it fold it into two then i'll pleat my main sleeve on you either pleat or gather slightly whichever one you want for me i'll gather roughly on it and then i'll fix the sleeves to the bodies to the shirts okay and then i'll join the size with one inch now i've done the gathering and here is what it looks like now next is to fix my sleeve just match the notch to the shoulder and fix my sleeve and after i've done that i'm going to join the sleeve with one inch and then i'll also go ahead and hem the down part of this dress okay and that'll be all for this tutorial thank you guys for watching to the end and please don't forget to like this video subscribe and say something beautiful in the comment section and i'll see you in my next video bye